good morning, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles final ride test on this Keyway K Lite known as Keyway K Lite 202. And just one final quick look around that bike. You've seen this before on the previous ride videos. It's just up to us now to put the final mileage on. And I do love those big disc brakes that they've got on the front and back of this bike. Very, very easy to maintain. Now, the one thing that I did find on this that uh, I would have liked to have seen changed is it has a side stand kill switch, which means you have to actually be seated on the bike to start this up. But obviously, I would have liked to have been able to start this in neutral with the side stand down, which is the only thing I did find. It's exactly the same as the Riot's. The Riot is exactly the same. You can't start it with the side stand down, so you have to actually be seated on the bike to start this bike. And what we're going to do, we're going to run this out into traffic and I'm going to do the route slightly different today. We're going to change this up and get my urban route in down the back roads. So 11 miles on the bike. Final 8 or 9 for me to put on. We do roughly around 20 miles on every bike at 40 mile an hour. 5 speed box on this one, as said in the previous video. And all okay so far. Obviously, for the customer's benefit, we did pick up that uh, the exhaust guard housing is scratched. Ordered a brand new one with those. And that uh, I did find a bit of play in the right-hand bar end. So, obviously, we're going to put a brand new bar end in that as well. Make sure this bike is absolutely 100% perfect before we send this one out. But I do love these indicators on this. Very Harley-esque. So, rather than your standard left-hand push to cancel indicators on this indicator either side on this one push once to turn them on push once to turn them off but it's very easy to just look over the front of the bike and you can see them indicators actually running soaks up the bumps very very well suspension on this is lovely and firm and the only other thing that I did pick up on this obviously I'm a very long-legged rider uh, but only five foot ten I've got 32 legs uh, the only thing I did find is obviously with the seating position on this my knees are up right on the top of the tank so obviously this is better for the shorter rider so if you happen to be sort of uh, five foot eight and under or a very small legged rider or even a female this will be the ideal bike for you but the seating position once my feet are down very flat and firm to the floor I've got loads of room if I actually stand up full leg you can see how high I am on that bike but once you're actually on the bike it's a very nice seated position but obviously if you are long-legged obviously do make sure that you sit on one of these bikes and try them out for size don't just go by what you see on a photo we would always say to everybody that is uh, looking at a bike pictures can sell a thousand bikes but not till you actually seat on the bike you will know if it is the bike for you so obviously make sure that you go out get yourself seated on a bike try it out and then while we're just sitting here with the traffic lights i just love the smell of a new bike just burning off. The other thing I did like about this is those big wide levers and the growl of that exhaust. And obviously we took the uh, GT Tempest out, that has got a very very noisy exhaust on that. But its road presence is absolutely amazing, the same as this little K-Lite, absolutely beautiful bike to ride. And it just soaks up the corners, soaks up the bumps, does exactly what it says on the tin. And obviously this is my favourite bit of urban road, this one. This takes us back down sort of through the back roads of Milton Keynes. And there's loads of twisties and country roads just to sort of try out and test the handling on these bikes, which is what I absolutely love. And even from low revs, just bringing the power on. Very, very talky from the bottom end. And then this is obviously my favourite bit, my bridge is coming up. So visor up, I'm going to drop it down the cogs and put a, a little bit of revs on this bike. And you can just hear that exhaust note, so dropping, bringing the revs up. And that is a great little tunnel just for dropping the rev bombs or just seeing what the exhaust note sounds like as well. Do love testing the exhaust through that bridge. As you can tell, from the back roads, it handles very well. 
over those speed bumps it just soaks those up the suspension on this is not too firm but it's not too soft it's right where you want it to be it just soaks up them bumps and the brakes on this super effective just coming into a corner and I'll give it a nice big handful of front brake just to you can see how quick that front disc brake just pulls down on this bike and just chugging through the corner cruiser style you can just get on those revs nice and early and that growl when you're putting the uh, the power on absolutely lovely so obviously this is the final ride test if nothing found this morning which means we can then go and register the bike get it ready for the customer Now it's slightly different the uh, procedure on this one because obviously with Keyway and the uh, the SIM brand you don't get much paperwork with it it's all electronic and online and uh, obviously puts the onus on the customer to go and do it themselves whereas we would rather do it and say to the customer here's all your paperwork this is what you need this is what say uh, your service intervals are with this it's all online but what we do we add an extra pack in there and just obviously inform the customer this is what you need to do the servicing intervals on these are exactly the same and it is obviously up to the customer to make sure that he sticks to that maintenance and service regime on these but absolutely loving this little cruiser Obviously, if you're a fan of my page, you know that I am not a lover of cruiser bikes. Cruisers, scooters. Once I'm on them, I love riding them, but being a sports bike rider, the position is very unnatural to me, feet forward, but I am actually getting, getting to like these cruisers a lot. So much for the fact that uh, I am now looking at, obviously, uh, getting rid of my sports bike. I was going to keep it, but uh, obviously next year, a new bike is coming onto the scene. I should be stepping up to a um, bigger one. So I'm going to be stepping up to a ZZR 1400 next year. Big tourer. And there'll be a lot more sort of uh, tour videos of me coming up. But obviously for the purposes of ride test, we're going to be talking about this one. Now obviously the Keyway has got a very, very good name for itself. And you do see a lot of these keyways out in Asia, especially the uh, Superlight. Superlight Cruiser was one of our best sellers, and you cannot get the Superlights for love or money at the moment. But the Superlight was one of my favourite bikes. Very, very similar in style to the Michigan. And also very, very similar to the UMs. It was that feet forward position. And they did do a lovely battalion green on that one. Did like that colour. And obviously the black super light that they brought in, they had an SE version that had all the uh, studded saddle bags with it and all the trimmed seat. Was a very, very nice selling bike. So obviously if you're into Keyway, go and check out the super light. Obviously the K light is the smaller version, the mini bobber version. But this thing rides oh so well. Such a lovely bike. So the final ride test, we've got 15 on it at the moment. The last couple of miles, so we're just going to go into town next. Just run around town. And get a little bit of mileage around town. And then we should be heading back to the garage. Get this all cleaned and polished. The obligatory coats of my ACF 50 on it. Because I do like to ACF 50 bikes before they go out. Make sure they're all corrosion prevented. And obviously if you are into looking after your bike, there is nothing better than uh, giving it a good wash at the weekend, giving it a nice clean up, getting all that chrome nice and shiny, and the coat of the ACF 50. Now ACF 50 is designed to last at least, you should be doing it at least twice a year. I normally do my bike at least once every couple of weeks. And if you do that, now obviously the more you ACF 50 your bike, the less corrosion you're going to get.
but it does pull down very nice on those brakes. I'm impressed with the braking system on this K light. Very, very efficient on the brakes. So okay, making our way back into town. And the last couple of miles to get on the bike. And the final couple of roundabouts just to push through. And you can just see from the handling position. It just flicks through those corners. Absolutely lovely. Tyres are scrubbed in nicely now. And obviously gets up the speed very, very quickly on this one as well. So that's the uh, Keyway K-Lite, the final ride test done on this bike. Heading back to the garage now. As always, check out the uh, social media. The easiest way to get to absolutely everything is off my website, redbomb.co.uk. Or if you fancy uh, checking out Eclipse Motorcycles, all the links are at the bottom of that page on Redbomb on the first page. You've got the website for Eclipse Motorcycles, so it's Eclipse Motorcycles MK. Stands for Milton Keynes, .co .uk. So Eclipse Motorcycles MK .co .uk. Telephone number for the guys 01908 643 603. You can find them on Facebook, search in Eclipse Motorcycles, look for the picture of the two scooters, two Royal Alloys. And of course, all my social media is on the uh, last page of my website. That's my Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the Facebook. Pop across the, the uh, YouTube, give us a like and subscribe. Be much appreciated. And then, as always, smash the hell out of the notifications bell when you're ready to see what the next video is. That will notify you when that's all coming up. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave your comments below. As always, all the moto vloggers that I, I tend to ride with or uh, follow are on the post, on each post on my YouTube channel. So you can check out some of those riders. And until the next time, which is probably going to be about half an hour, when we take the next bike out from RB, be well guys, have a great weekend, ride safe. And as always, it's a big, smiley weekend goodbye from me.